Okay. Now, there's two shots here. One is a lot better in the light. See that there? Mm -hmm. That's me. That's, uh -huh. what the that's the two piece. That's the tube with a uh -huh. what's the name on it, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole unit. Now this one, I drove. That's the rover. I drove down there on this, no petrol at all. Uh -huh. We used about a cup, cup to a cup and a half, or a cup of cup of water to go from here down to Mount George. That's mm -hmm. Tari out to Mount George, mm -hmm. right? Out of that unit. Right. This one here. Yeah, what's in that? You know, that's the plate system, is it? No, that is just a, um, uh, that is just a uh, mesh. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, yeah, that's, down. The, that's that one. Now, when we got down there, Ron didn't accept um, this. He wanted to make another one, so he made this circle one, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that is very thin stainless, mm -hmm. and the whole thing turned circular. She uh, expanded when you read up, and she just bloomed out. Right. And I don't know why it didn't blow up, but that would then... That was doing then, polluting that motor. She had no smoke, no fumes, no nothing on anything else by petrol or by uh, my unit. Put this one on, she done the same as she polluted. Right. She had pressure, and that was an expand one. We lost all brakes, we lost all that's the circular action. one there. We had no slowing down. Okay, and that's, well, that's the only That's the two piece, all right. Okay. See if I can get a close up one. Yeah. 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 An awful lava was it? No, it was under a, a vacuator unit for making ice cream. Oh, there you produce it. Yeah. Just a bit of that. that is about the year. Really? Yeah. That one. Yeah, so. Center mesh, mm -hmm. it gets it out heat better than the solid right. center as a negative. Mm -hmm. Solid stainless outside as mm -hmm. a positive. Two is the best. Two tubes, neutral tubes. Mm -hmm. um, outside the, the mesh, and what's the gap on that? Yeah, it's approximately six mil. Yeah, about seven gap, gives you the gas off, right. really well gap. Um, and um, you have two, two of those tubes, neutral tubes, they don't touch anything either end. Mm -hmm. The gas will come off both of those. Each one will drop your current in half, and you'll come down from, say, 75 amps down to uh, five amps, and get off twice to three times the amount of gas. This is mesh what Peter had got, um, square meshing, he said would, um, he was hoping this would work. This does not work nowhere near as well because the, um, the wire, they're sealed wire mm -hmm. and they're just interlocked, All right. right? Now the current seems to be able to go through and past where if right. you have, well, the mesh or... if you have, um, yeah, Solid welded mesh, the current can't circulate and go past, you'll come down to the square and break out in the four ways and put your gas out. Right. If you have solid tubing, first of all, you get a very, very small amount off the, the face, like these wires are face. Mm -hmm. The gas starts coming off the bottom really well because it is being cut and it's rough. Mm -hmm. No face, there's no shiny face. Um, a little bit off the sides here. If you grind those sides, or you cut those sides in any way or rough it up, mm -hmm. gas roots out there and you can see the difference between them. Right. If you have the mesh, um, like this, heavier actually is better. Where's the other one, Peter? This is the actual size. A very large mesh. This is um, cut off the mesh what we had in the units. Mm -hmm. Got that? It's an eight, eight mil square and the, the the meterage or the the next size to the next hole is 12. so it's it's known as eight mil square with 12 mil centers testing this will show that off these bits here you will get probably four times the amount of gas as what you can get off this stainless which that. is sealed mm -hmm. and um that's the difference just by those she interrupts the flow of current, it seems to. Right. Anyway. Positive. Negative in the middle. Turn that out of Can you see that? Yep. Okay. Put in close. Yeah, just going in. Actually, you should be above it. You want to see the gas, all right. Okay. All right, mate. Sorry, mate. Yeah. I just went to pull away. 
soon as we touch the negative end, I mean the positive end, we will get gas off our knees. Okay. 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 Now we're in solid outside to a solid negative center. Now you see positive does not put off very much. Negative puts off everything. It splits from negative out towards positive, does not meet with positive space. Right, yeah. See that? So the outside should be a um, the outside should be a solid. Mm-hmm. Negative is Positive for hydrogen, uh, positive for oxygen molecule, negative for hydrogen. No? No, you're virtually Chains right. all the time. <laughs> no, you're virtually right, but you get, get it off both. You get both off both. Positive is not an oxygen. Positive is an oxygen and a hydrogen. Negative is an oxygen and a hydrogen. Okay? We're going to touch it, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm. Well, see that? The negative. Yes. Now, if we come out of the water to our solid, see that? See how it's not producing as much on the mm -hmm. solid. Mm -hmm. yeah. The difference, even though we're really close, look. Right? But then you go to the mesh. See the mesh? And then deeper you go. See? That'll just rip out of the mesh as a negative. Can you see that better? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, a lot better. Don't come too close this way, please. No. You don't want it to go then. Oh, don't worry, man. What your depth, Joe? <laughs> Will be soon. And now lift it slowly out, Pete, as she comes past her. We're about there. See the difference? Yeah, it slows down there. Yeah. Right. Now. Wire them to the mesh. Yeah, Stainless in. steel screw. Now this one puts off more larger oxygen bubbles. See the larger oxygen bubbles? Mm. Just put it down to the bottom, Pete, I don't care. Just in the middle, same place as the other. Can you see the larger oxygen bubbles now? How can you tell the oxygen bubbles? Because <laughs> you can burn them. <laughs> no, but I mean, oxygen is the larger one. See, so hydrogen is the smallest. Right, it comes off the smallest, and the oxygen seems to be the largest. Oxygen ones do not, um, well, you can see through them, they're not milky, they're not uh, small, tiny, gassy, uh -huh. or anything else. Right, you see the difference between this gas and the other one? See, we've got twice as much in. You see that? Mm -hmm. Whatever, we've got twice as much in, up to here, and it doesn't put off nowhere near as much as that small ring. It's that one. Oh, it's that one. Understand? Mm-hmm. Good. Now yeah, we've got something else to put in too. Well, what about a solid? Okay, let's try a solid. You got, don't make it too long so we can see see it, all right? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. See the larger bubbles? Move it to the side. Move it to that side. Okay, this way. See, so closer you get, she rips out towards the positive. Also positive comes in to meet. Doesn't look the outside more. No. That one is roughed up a bit. That one is producing. Right? Try not to get your uh, yeah, this in because that's going to produce too, Pete. It's copper. Yeah. Okay, so your finer, finer bubbles. Mm. Right? Hardly any... Um, and the larger bubbles yeah. on the inside. Yeah. No, well, the larger bubbles are not doing anything. The inside doesn't do anything. Mm. You look in the inside. There's only just a few. The only thing, yeah, the only thing the inside is doing is coming up from the mm. right off the bottom, and then when you lower it uh, deep down, then your um, your jumble leaves start producing. Mm. See, 
and then she curled over and went down in the top as he went deeper. Nothing comes out of the middle, it's neutral water. Probably. We don't use brass or copper in here. Goes green and pollutes and will completely completely oxidise up. Completely. That one has only been in for a couple of minutes just the afternoon and it has gone green now. We'll just show, even with a threaded section, right? The size of the bubbles, right? As you move closer to the mesh, how much more rapidly the gas is produced from a threaded section. Okay. See the gas coming away there? The section here, if we try and see the uh, see the unit on the uh, around the threaded section, you'll see it start to produce, and then you'll notice that it's a lot finer bubble or uh, okay. running off the off the shinier face. Might have to get it to blow first, Jim. You can see that, can't you? You can see how it's rapidly coming away from the thread, the threaded section, whereas it's not coming away as quickly from the shiny surface. And this is different too because when you've used plates, doesn't matter how thick the, the tube is, doesn't matter how polished the sides are or anything else, she goes through, the current goes through, mate turns both sides into positive and negative and produces Top on both sides of those plates no matter how thick they are. We'll show you that other dot in with um, Peter's um, tube in a minute, it does not have to be in water. There you are. This is just using a, another piece of stainless um, with a um, yep. Surface on. Thank you, Gabby. Thanks, Joe. edges, very little off surface. The current is going straight down the metal to the bottom and coming out the rough edge. If you rough the plate right up the edges, you would see it coming out the roughest. She breaks away. This mesh is interwoven finer uh, stainless, um, completely sealed around the, um, the threads of the, of the mesh actually and that doesn't produce a real, real lot. It comes off the bottom as you see if he pulls her out and then lowers her in. You'll see it coming from the bottom because that's a rough edge where it's been cut. Mm -hmm. 